I don't see as many Samsung phones as I hope to. <laughs> no, there's a lot of them out there. Um, all right, well, I think that wants to just to get started. So if we can just take questions. If we can just have the mic out here, it'll be easier to hear everyone. If you have a question, raise your hand and we'll do our best. No, you mean you need to? I want to ask you if that question is really about that. No? No, okay. <laughs> Well, you know what, if anyone up here does have me as a restaurant, I'm sure you guys won't like coming and joining us. <laughs> we'll have the mic the whole time. Um, I see uh, Mitch that you managed to get Will here with you this time, but you missed the opening of our frozen banana stand by one day. It opens tomorrow. I was wondering if you could stick around for a photo opportunity. And then also, we saw uh, Ann Beal in town last night. I wonder if we'll see her we in the too. We saw a little man the egg as well. Um, well, now, which frozen bananas again? We're, I'm not here tomorrow. Are you here tomorrow? No, we're both leaving. So we can leave, we can leave Jeffrey, if that's of <laughs> any use to you guys at all. I will, no, we're happy to leave him. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, is this the same banana stand that, uh, what's it called? Banana Anarchy. Banana Anarchy. Where are you? Where? I, know, I think it's down on South uh, South County. Think. <laughs> well, it's it's an anarchy. I mean, it just you can move around. It's, 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 anything goes. <laughs> we we're so flattered. We we heard about this, and I come from an area. <laughs> that was now we we briefly tried with him coming up and saying, "I'd like to play." Didn't land as much as I. Next person with a question? Hit the delete button on those. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm Ellsberg. I uh, produce the Shorty Awards and write for Lost Remote. Uh, so, Will, I have a question. Did you just join Twitter 20 hours ago? That's a very good question. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Why did you decide to join? <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, I was I was a I was a Twitterer before. Um, I can't see you behind your phone. Oh, there you are. Um, I was a Twitterer for a while, and I and I uh, and then I I left, um, and then I decided to come back. And now you're Jason Bateman's sponsor. That just well that is in the description, but that's also true. That's just actual. Well, Why and not? also. Also, Will for a while went analog, so he had some physical followers. We had we were <laughs> seven people trailing him around, and then we tried to block one of them. But he was a bigger guy, so now he's back. And he's not, he's the TSA not, yeah, the TSA was not crazy. He's like, well, these are his Twitter followers. He doesn't have a connection. Yes, but go ahead and follow me. Don. All right, we have another question right over here. Uh, your name is. My name is. Oh. Well, you've got modest. <laughs> and I did a, um, I did Word Girl with her. Do you even know what that is? Do you? You know? And uh, she's she's great. Uh, she's sought after. And, uh, she's, uh, she's very modest. She's a very humble actress and very uh, not what she doesn't have um, everything. It's for just for keeps. She just. She's yeah, she's well. She's a hilarious comic, as you know, and and it's so she's such a hilarious mess. And she, I, I think, I, I'm torn about um, telling you guys what she plays because the fun of it. I think the fun of it for you. I mean, it's not like it's such a great secret or anything, but it might be more fun to discover. Oh, that's right. And uh, you know, um, this is the. Uh, um, uh, Yeah. Did we have anything? No. We, we, I think the first season we, the first season we did try rehearsing. And four table reads. Uh, yeah. yeah. Traditionally, when you do a show, you do uh, you do uh, table reads and uh, you know camera shows. Whatever. We did four. Why did we have four? Because they, they wanted to do it, and then, and then Mitch didn't want to do it anymore. I hate doing it. And uh, he said we can't do it. and kept moving it around, and then they got frustrated and they just stopped. Well, it's just not pretending for everybody to say I don't get it. Yeah, and oh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing, and it's it lit, and it maybe it's kind of cowardice on my part too, because it's when the material gets judged, obviously you'd rather not have it. You can imagine, that face. You can imagine how good the notes are. <laughs> <laughs> but can I tell you one quick thing about his acting? 
class we were just talking about this last night. No. Oh. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, um, Jeffrey invited me to the acting class. So this and I said, Jeffrey, I, I, you know, I don't have a speech or anything. So don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. We'll just make this very comfortable and very natural for you. And I think we did, I did park in a parking lot and started working out something to say, prepare for some questions. And, and I said, but you're, you're not going to put me on the spot or anything. No, 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 no. So this is what he did. He walked out with a plastic chair. Put it down. <laughs> Absolutely true. Now here's the here's the real, the real and this is this is why he and I have been friends for so long. Um, he prepared for that as much as he prepares for anything. I I heard because I'm very friendly with his wife. Uh, uh, he had gone to Starbucks about an hour before to make his notes. Uh, he talked for almost two hours on his feet, and my kids went. My kids. They're 30 years old. My kids went to school. No, they um, they loved him. And he talked what they say on my side of the street. He talked endless, the truth. And uh, he was great. Let's see Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got another question. Hi, uh, John Beckham, National Post. Uh, my question is can you confirm or any other that there is going to be next season, and or is there officially a movie? Well, first of all, I've had no time to prepare for this answer. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Um, we have nothing else right now. Here's what we have. We we have we have the whole story. I mean, we really you know worked out the whole thing evolved because we wanted to do a movie. We had too much information for the movie. You know, suddenly because time had, had elapsed. What became interesting was where these characters had been, as opposed to just continuing the story. And so to, to focus on where each character had been, which I think would be fun for the audience to see, what's Joe up to? You know, you'd have to give him three, four minutes in the movie, you're, you're halfway through the movie before you've got through all the characters. So what kind of emerged was this idea of an anthology series where we, and it's evolved since then, but the original idea was we just do uh, George Sr.'s episode, we just do Michael's episode, we just do Job's episode. And all of this was to be sort of act one of this bigger story that we have in a lot of detail, actually, as we pointed out, um, for the movie. What we don't have is a movie deal. You know anybody here? No, it's, it's, I'm, I'm confident that we, we will succeed at that. Um, you know, it's not our property, you know, but 20th Century Fox owns it and they've been amazing. They've let us bring it back, which is outside their normal business model. You know, these companies exist to make 100 episodes or something, not to make 10 episodes or not just 14. So they, they, it's their ball. Yeah. They own the football and they own the field. Um, and we're just players on it. And the truth is also, is I know that there's been a, a, people have been asking this question a lot since there were comments made in the last few years and so. Uh, but we, we do have these 14 episodes that are about to air. People yeah. are already mad that we don't have the other. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's even seen these. Like, well, let's just enjoy this for now. But the other part of the question is, yes, we very much want to do it. And I have to do my due diligence, right? It's not, I really don't mean to be passing the buck and saying, well, thank you, thank you for a movie. I mean, I've just got to go through those steps. I've got to pitch it to them. They're probably going to need to see a script first, which is not how we've done it in television, right? Tell them you just do a pilot. And then you got a series, and you're doing it every week. So this is probably going to have to go through some sort of process but but in fairness there is there is a bigger story there we were talking about this really earlier that this these current 14 episodes are uh, just another uh, step in, in uh, the telling the story of these characters and, and, and these people's lives and there is a bigger story out there that that, that does exist truth yes I think when you get to the end of these episodes maybe in the middle you'll realize oh, there's, there's more of a story here that's being set up that's wonderful <laughs> uh, I, I do tell you that the uh, fans who come up to one in, in an airport, and I mean old and young, assume that this is the precursor to uh, a movie, and the precursor, they seem to think that it's uh, the series, movie, series, movie, series. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, that's what they think that there is, so I think uh, the good people at 20th. 
uh, would be, I, if they're in touch with their families, uh, they, they will uh, have missed an opportunity to go. And it's right here. Right. I don't want to share this. Okay. <laughs> I just want, I want to really make it clear that they've been very, very generous. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we're not complaining that they have done it. We're not, we, we, have to, we have to bring them out. I want to be the most vocal about how I support it. Great job they do in Fitness Corp in general. I don't even care about that. I don't even care about that. I think that they're all just good people. We have a question back here. Hi, this is Josh Jackson from Pace Magazine, and I feel like you've been covering the story of is there going to be a series? Is there going to be a series um, for, for years now? What made this the right time to do it? And, and were you throughout that time kind of keeping up with the characters and, and where they might be in your mind? And, and, and were they growing? Were they growing? You know, you know, older through the years and figuring out what, what was going on. And, um, uh, no, you're not hold it. No, I don't know. I want to say. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I always felt kind of conflicted about. I mean, amazing support that, that you guys were were asking about it and interested about it, and I always felt like I don't, I don't mean to be being coy here. We we just you know we, we always felt like it was a little too soon to dive into the movie. The movie we knew the limitations of. We knew that there would be a certain budget for the movie. Yeah, it's not a property that we control. So there there were certain things that just weren't quite up to me to to make the movie. And so every time. People, it became this self-fulfilling thing, which was great, but it also, the story became, well, once again, there's talk of a movie. And I, you know, if it were up to me, I would have just waited until we had a movie deal and then, and then announced it. By the time we were, I mean, I don't quite know why, how to say it was time to do this again, but it just seemed finally, maybe just in my personal life, that I had a moment between jobs and, and there was an opportunity to write the movie and what, the other part of it, beyond just having too much story, was feeling like, well, people have waited so long. Can we give them something more? And that was my first meeting with Ron Howard when we restarted. I said, is there any way we could do, I don't know, a movie into a series, like you were saying, back into a movie? And he said, boy, I don't know, you know, film departments and TV departments don't really work together. And then I said, well, what are you up to now? He said, oh, I'm doing this um, Dark Tower thing. It's a movie, and then it's a TV show, and then it's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and so coincidentally, Netflix came along and it, it, it expressed interest in somehow doing some kind of reunion. So it just kind of seemed possible. But even having said that, it still wasn't possible. I mean, that was uh, probably February of 2011. And I was saying, let's, get, let's make this announcement at the May upfronts. You know, when everybody's making their announcements for TV shows. And it was really... I finally got into offices with a couple of writers January 1st of 2012. And even then, we didn't really start on the clock because they said, well, we don't have the after deals yet. And, well, why don't you make the after deals? Well, because we don't know that this should be. We don't know they're all going to be available. And it was just, it was a complicated thing to get moving. Not because anybody wasn't motivated, but just because there were, you know, everybody's got their own lives. There were so many moving parts on on every level of this thing, from the creative to the, to the business side, to the schedule, to all of it. It was, it was a very complex thing, as a testimony, uh, a real testament of it, too. To Mitch, uh, obviously, once again, kind of leading, driving this thing, that it, that it came together at all. Well, it was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. But we all kind of decided, I mean, these two guys in particular, and Jason, too, were always just saying, like, just do it, just do it, and go, it'll come. And I kind of feel that way about the movie. You know, not to be slick about it, because obviously a lot of people have to put a lot of money and things like that, but I feel like we're probably going to have to get it going before the deal is official somehow, or just like, you know, there's a reason this kind of thing doesn't happen more often. You know, shows don't kind of reunite, just because television doesn't work that way. You know, there's no profit model, and the people are like, But what's exciting is, 